been my vision and an absolute privilege to bring nursing leaders of health and aged care in Australia here today to have an audience with the most influential leaders in our country regarding policy and reform. The Australian College of Nursing is Australia's pre-eminent professional nursing body and the Australian member of the International Council of Nurses. The Australian College of Nursing's mission is to enhance health care by advancing nurse leadership and the college is committed to strengthening the nursing voice in health and aged care reform. The first time the Australian College of Nursing has launched a white paper at Parliament House. Organisations like your Australian College of Nursing, representing nurses from the front line across clinical management and academic roles, give us the hands-on and well-documented evidence we need in health policy. In that little piece of family history, I suppose I want to capture all of the things that nurses do and the diversity of your profession is incredible and the way that you can contribute in so many different areas is incredible. Nurses are the primary, most important part of engagement of the healthcare sector for patients and it's often nurses that help to influence and shape the experience that people have with the healthcare sector. In my patch in the rural and remote uh, healthcare and regional healthcare, uh, the proportion of care delivered by nurses um, is, is the predominant source of care for many parts of remote Australia. You say that governments must commit to and deliver on objectives that go well beyond election cycles. Uh, I could not agree with you more. What we have seen in recent years, frankly, is a boom and bust cycle in health reform. And as I have said before, there are some things in which the parties will always disagree, but there is more that we should be able to agree on. This uh, paper that is being launched today, of course, looks at nurses and their role that you should play in the future when it comes to determining health policy. As a Shadow Minister responsible for mental health and ageing, Clearly it will be critical in future policy that is currently under, as we've heard today from many speakers, under a lot of reform. Thank you for being here, thank you for the speakers that we've had. It's incredibly important for the people that have worked tirelessly behind the scenes uh, to bring this to fruition. We thank you. Thank you.